Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we'll see how to install uh, open source uh, open sense firewall which is free VSC based free to use. Uh, you can get the file from uh, the official website from here and if you want to know the details about this then you can check those things out in the website like you can see here stateful traffic shaping two-factor authentication captive portal so literally this piece of software or the firewall is having everything in it and i do see people using this in the enterprise also so let's get started we'll see how to install this in a vmware workstation 14 pro so you can download the file from this website um here i have already downloaded the file so let me try to locate the file okay this one So the good thing about this uh, free BSD based firewall is that you can uh, install it on a uh, uh, USB drive so that you can test it out before uh, deploying in your production environment. Okay, these are the formats. I think DVD is uh, ISO, VGA for a uh, USB. All right, um, okay, now we have the ISA image.
I think we are done with the installation. Let's try the login. It's going to be root. And the password should be open sense. Okay. Um, let me try to ping uh, the IP. I don't think it's going to work because I know that the adopter is having a different subnet. I'm trying to add a new network adapter so that I can have connectivity. All right, uh, now I think we have the proper IP from the VM net 8. Let's try to access the device. to 
is using a self signed certificate so have to add exception So the password would be O P N S E N S E. Let's see what is there in this. Okay, and dashboard is pretty clean. There is no licensing involved in it. I think you have. Full access to every feature. Okay, here you can change the password. Let's see what else is there. Okay, it is also having the reporting feature where you can see the health of the device. NetFlow feature is also there. So you do have a reporting feature. Let's see what is there in this. Okay, you can create the user, define the role. How about the former? Let's see which former do we have now. Okay, I guess for high availability, they use something called. Where is it? They just mentioned the protocol involved in HA cluster. So you can see here for high availability, they're using a CARP protocol, common address redundancy protocol. Okay, that's cool. Where is the other thing? Okay. So um, let's see, do they support dynamic routing or not? I don't think they support dynamic routing here. These are all static routes. Let's see what we got inside the firewall. Okay. So they do have a ACL feature where you can uh, configure different rules for allowing or blocking the traffic. Okay. Port forwarding is there, one to one translation is there, outbound translation is there and PTV6 is also there. Okay, and this is good, traffic shaping. Inside the VPN, they have IPsec. All right, guys, Um, that's all for 
today we'll see in depth in the next video please do subscribe to my channel so that you can get the update whenever i post the video thank you